Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. When I first started this channel, I specifically made a point not to be political at all. For like the whole first year that I had this channel, it was just about guns and, you know, parts and accessories. But I've realized over time that you can't be serious about the Second Amendment and about freedom without getting into the political space a little bit. And so that is what today's video is. I will never tell you guys how to vote. That is up to every each and individual person to figure out for themselves. But what I will tell you is that we have a very important election coming up. And while, like I said, I won't tell you who to vote for, I'm gonna give you some things to think about, hopefully, that might make your decision easier. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you're subscribed. And let's talk about who's in this next presidential election. I'm gonna start this off by saying that Donald Trump has not been a friend to the 2A. Um, many people that are really into this and have been paying attention know that. He was the guy that told the ATF to just ban bump stocks and they did and that led to a lot of other things down the road like the pistol brace rule, like the frames and receivers rule, um, like being able to ban force reset triggers. All of these things where that was kind of what got the ball rolling on the ATF, just deciding that they could make rule changes and basically write law themselves. That was Donald Trump's doing. There's also a very famous soundbite, take the guns first, due process later, and I think at one point he even said how he doesn't like silencers. Um, so Donald Trump was not very good for the Second Amendment. Now, I think that Donald Trump thought that he was good for the Second Amendment and that he listened to the NRA. And we all know that the NRA is probably the worst gun rights organization these days. But people that aren't in the 2A space somehow think that the NRA is still the voice of you know, gun rights. And so Donald Trump listened to them and he made some poor decisions. I'm sure at the time he didn't realize how poor those decisions were and how much it would cause problems between him and supporters of the Second Amendment, supporters of the Constitution. Having said that, his son is very pro 2A and I think even like shoots in competitions and stuff. Definitely own, owns AR-15s and is an outspoken gun rights advocate. And I think Donald Trump is coming around. And one reason I say that is because of his vice presidential pick in J.D. Vance. I don't really know a whole heck of a lot about J.D. Vance just yet, but I do know that he has come out and said out in the open that he thinks that the ATF should be disbanded and abolished and that there's no point in that organization. So that that gets a big thumbs up for me. There's also pictures of JD Vance circulating the internet, holding AR-15s, I think a CMMG. Um, the guy is very pro 2A and that is Trump's vice presidential pick in this election. But is that a good enough reason to vote for the Trump Vance ticket? Because a lot of people that are very opinionated, that are very true to what they believe in, don't feel like it is right to support a politician that has done us dirty and Donald Trump has done us dirty. But then we have to look at the other side in Kamala Harris and Tim Walls. But before we get the rest of the way into that, let's have a very quick word from our channel partner. If you'd like to help support Sawtooth Tactical, the very best way to do that is to click the first link in the description. That link is aura.com slash Sawtooth Tactical. If you use my link, you get a two week free trial and uh, you can quit anytime, but you probably want to stick with it as I have. What has Aura done for me? Well, I don't get any spam calls anymore. I don't get spam emails. I don't get calls from scammers. What they do is they find all the data brokers that have your information online. They submit opt out requests on your behalf so that you don't get scammers and spam calls anymore. But they do a lot of other things too. They have a VPN, um, which just helps to protect your privacy. They've got a ton of stuff 
and it all comes in at a very low price if you stick with it after that two weeks it is only twelve dollars a month i think aura is pretty cool because they sponsor gun related channels which are not a lot of sponsors are willing to do that and it really helps channels like mine be able to produce this kind of content youtube doesn't really like to monetize gun related videos anymore and so sponsors like aura make things like mark 18 builds possible so check it out it's definitely worth trying it out for two weeks like i said you're probably going to want to stick with it i don't have to worry about scammers anymore i don't have to worry about spam calls spam emails and that's been really nice i use my phone for work and so i have to answer calls that i don't recognize all the time and none of them are scammers anymore and i really like that so again check it out First link in the description, aura.com slash sawtooth tactical. I can almost guarantee that you're going to love it. Check it out. When we look at Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris is not, you know, where Trump made some poor decisions that hurt the Second Amendment community. Well, Kamala Harris is very much pro gun control and anti Second Amendment. She has literally come out and said in the past, that she would be all for executive action, not only banning, banning, excuse me, assault rifles, but flat out sending the police door to door to confiscate people's guns. That is a big problem. And then when people came back at her saying, you know, that's a, that's a hard line to have and you're gonna alienate a lot of voters that way. Instead, she decided that instead of going door to door and confiscating guns, that she just wants to institute a ban on future sales of assault, you know, AR-15s, AKs, semi-automatic rifles. Well, I don't know about you guys, but even though I already own a few, I still want to be able to get more in the future. And that is another thing to think about before this election. I, <laughs> there is a way that I hope that this election goes, but it could go either way. I'm not even sure that elections are free and fair anymore in this country. And so how much control do we really have over the election? Now, I'm not saying not to go vote. Definitely go and vote. Because if we do have any power to, uh, to make a difference, we might as well use that power that we do have. And that's part of what being an American is. Just like owning guns and, you know... Using your Second Amendment rights is part of being an American. But in case the election goes one way, if she does take executive action and we can't get ARs anymore, well, make sure that you have <laughs> at least your bases covered before November. And again, I always have to preface this. Do not, I'm not saying to panic by, but I mean, probably you've already hopefully been thinking about this. Elections always are years that the sale of firearms and ammunition usually goes up and the price of firearms and ammunition usually goes up in response, supply and demand. So far this year, uh, firearm sales have not gone up like they normally do in an election year. And I have not seen the price of ammo really increasing dramatically yet. But that doesn't mean that it won't in these next few months. So, you know, if it means buying a box or two of ammo every paycheck, I think that's a smart thing to do. If it means getting a couple of lower receivers so that you could build out some ARs in the next couple years, in case we get someone in the uh, Oval Office that bans them, well, that might be a smart thing to do as well. And so kind of my point with this video is that while neither side is perfect on the Second Amendment, and I know that a lot of people are single issue voters. Myself, I kind of am too. I am a second amendment absolutist. And uh, Donald Trump has not been absolutely good when it comes to the second amendment. I'm still gonna vote for Donald Trump. And it's not just that it's the lesser of two evils, although that is kind of part of it. I think that Donald Trump has much, much better policies across the board than the liberal agenda that is being pushed by the Kamala Harris, Tim Walls ticket. But also when it does come to the second amendment, would you rather have somebody that has made some mistakes listening to the NRA and somebody that has a vice presidential pick that is pro getting rid of the ATF? 
or somebody that has openly said that they want to send police door to door to confiscate your guns. And if she can't do that, through executive action to ban the future purchase and sale of AR-15 style rifles, as she puts it. Well, I know which one of those sounds better to me than the other. Now, a lot of people, including Kyle Rittenhouse, apparently, uh, have said that because of Donald Trump's record on the Second Amendment, that they are going to write in someone else's name, that they're not going to support a candidate that has made the mistakes against us that he has made. Well, all that really does is makes it easier for the Harris ticket to win. And that is a much worse situation for us to be in than if President Trump wins. And if you're watching this and you're a liberal and you're a liberal gun owner, well, you're literally supporting the side that wants to take away your guns. That is the reality. And, you know, I appreciate that you're watching the channel if you are. I appreciate that you support the Second Amendment. But your side is the side that is trying to take away our guns. And if we get a liberal like Kamala Harris and Tim Walls as the vice president, they are very far left woke liberals and they will do whatever they can to take away our guns. Joe Biden has been talking about uh, reinstating the assault weapons ban for the last four years. He hasn't been able to do it yet, but you know, if we get his vice president in the Oval Office, well, that's four more years of trying to pass an assault weapons ban. We don't want that. The other thing you got to think about with Trump, so despite the, the problems, the issues that we have with him on the Second Amendment, he has put a lot of Supreme Court justices in place. And those Supreme Court justices have handed down some great wins for the Second Amendment over the last few years. So when you think about it that way, he's actually done quite a bit to help us in the 2A community. So when it comes to this election, think long and hard about all of the issues that matter to you. When it comes to the Second Amendment, at least, I do think that the Trump Vance ticket is a much, much better choice than the Harris Walls ticket. That's just me. Do what you want. Of course, like I said, I will never tell anybody the way that they should vote. But these are the things that I've been thinking of. And when it comes to our gun rights for the next four years and beyond, because, you know, Supreme Court justices are lifetime appointments. So if we get more conservative Supreme Court justices and less liberal ones, we have more chances for wins when it comes to the Second Amendment for court cases to go our way instead of the way of the gun grabbing left and the ATF. And that is maybe the most important thing. Now, will we see, you know, if we get um, a Republican in the presidential, you know, in the White House and maybe a Republican majority in both houses of Congress, will we finally get something passed like the Hearing Protection Act Will we finally get the Shush Act? Will we finally get the NFA taken down or get suppressors and SBRs taken off it at the very least? We'll see. What seems to happen is that when Republicans are in control, they don't seem to do much to pass those kinds of things. But then when they're not in control, they like to put those kinds of bills out there to make it look like they're trying to help us when they know that those things won't pass. But either way, the situation is better if we at least have a chance of getting something positive done rather than no chance at all. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like. Make sure you subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical. Share it and let me know down in the comments if you agree with me or not. And even if you don't, I would love to hear about it. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.